Triple O Seven here, and in today's video we're doing our first video in a series of programming on the USB rubber ducky. Now I'm super excited to start this series. Uh, I played around with this thing a little bit last night and got some uh, basic knowledge of it, and so now it's time to show you guys um, some basic programming uh, on the rubber ducky itself. So in this video we're going to cover um, how to get your computer set up um, so that you can actually code on this thing. We're also going to install the language. Um, into Notepad++, that way we can easier see what we're doing. And then we're going to write a really quick little script that will open Notepad and say hello world, just like the one that uh, is default on this um, rubber ducky. And then we're going to encode that, and then I'm going to show you how to actually put it on here. And then that'll be it for this video. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing we're going to do, uh, if you notice, when you plug, you plug this in, it doesn't actually show up under my computer because it's actually a keyboard. So uh, what you want to do is actually remove the SD card. You can see it right there, the micro SD. Remove the micro SD and one of the other things that came in the package, which I thought originally was the case, uh, is actually a micro SD reader. So you just want to put it in there and plug it in your computer and you can see the files on the, on the SD card. With that said, I'm going to switch over to the computer now, and let's get the going on this. Now, before I get started with the tutorial, I wanted to show you guys quickly um, my GitHub page. So if you head over to, in the link description below, to my GitHub page, I have created a USB rubber ducky um, script uh, repository. Uh, and currently, I have a Hello World text file. Basically, it's the file that we created today. So if you're interested in checking out the full... Um, source code as well as possibly other codes that I'll be fooling around with and uploading over the time, uh, definitely head over to the page and if you have a GitHub account, uh, you can go ahead and follow me or you can star the uh, repository or watch it or wherever it may be. Like I said, right now it only has basically what we're doing today, um, but a little more added to it. And um, over time though, I will be uploading um, all my little cool projects to that. Um, some, of them, some of them will make it into videos and some of them won't. With that being said though, uh, what you want to do is go ahead and plug your ducky um, into your computer, um, pulling out the SD card and then using the SD card USB reader. Now when you plug in, you'll have it open up and it'll be under my computer and you'll have a 120 meg SD card available to read from and it's going to be have one file on it and it's the inject.bin. Now this is the one that's pre-installed on the ducky and this one has just the hello world script that we're about to create. Now you can't actually open a .bin file. That's why I'm going to show you guys in this video how to actually encode our text files to make this bin file. Now, if you're interested in actually reading a encrypted or encoded bin file, you can head over to uh, the ducktoolkit.com. Someone's made a really nice and easy website. It allows you to actually uh, generate payloads. So if you want to just make your own code without, actually, without having to actually code, you can do that here. You can also uh, write your code on here. And you can also go to the decoder and load up a bin file and it will decode it into just plain text. Now, this is a good website uh, if you're interested in getting started. Um, but me being more of a wanting to program, uh, we're not going to use any of the generators or anything like that. We're going to actually just hard code everything ourselves and as well as encode it using the provided jar files that they give us. With that said, uh, to get started actually coding, uh, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need the Java JDK. I'll link in the description below if uh, you don't already have it. It's a pretty simple install, it's a couple hundred megs, download it, and then just press next a bunch of times, use the default setup, and we're good to go. After that, we're gonna need the duck and code jar file, which is a uh, jar file for Java, obviously, that we can uh, access through command prompt and it will take our text files and convert them into uh, the inject.bin files. Now, I'll be using Notepad++. If you don't already have Notepad++, you really should. It's a better version of Notepad. Uh, one of the things it does is it actually allows you to code in it with languages. Um, and so if you're gonna be using it like I will, will, will be, I do highly suggest downloading the Ducky script uh, user language from Notepad++. Uh, essentially, what it will do is allow us to set the language as ducky script code, and then 
keywords like syntax that we type in will be colored to make sure that we know we're actually typing in the correct thing. So I do suggest using Notepad++ and this Ducky um, scripter if you can. So what you want to do is press the download button and have the jar download. And if you're going to do the Notepad++, also download this file. Now, when you're done downloading it, you're going to get the Duck and Code jar file. I do suggest putting it in a uh, folder somewhere else. Uh, I have created a USB driver Ducky folder for myself. So I put the Duck and Code there. And then I have a Hello World text file that I created earlier. And that's an inject.bin file. And then I also create a USB just some first old scripts and such. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Notepad. So here's Notepad. If you did, if you are using Notepad and it also downloaded the language file uh, and you want to actually install it, it's really simple. All you have to do is go to language and go to uh, define your language and then just go import and then choose the downloaded file. It's an XML file. And when you open it up, it'll say import successfully, exit out here, uh, close Notepad Plus Plus and reopen Notepad Plus Plus. And then under language, you should have a Ducky script option. If you click that, it'll change our code to be Ducky script compatible. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually start coding our first Hello World script. Um, so basically we're gonna have it um, open open um, the run menu, type in notepad, open notepad, and then type in hello world. Nothing too insane, but pretty simple. And this is gonna give us a couple good syntax that we can go ahead and use in the future. So probably the, the syntax you're gonna use the most in the ducky language is the delay one. Because the USB Road ducky types so fast, I believe it's a thousand words per second, it's faster than your computer can really comprehend. And if you're actually navigating through menus, it's faster than the menus will refresh. So you actually have to use a lot of delays. So it's a good practice to actually delay as soon, the first the first script you run. So as soon as you start coding, immediately write a delay. This is just that it gives the computer enough time to actually comprehend the flash drive is a keyboard, and give it keyboard access before your script on, your, on the flash drive starts running. So we'll go ahead and type in, now also everything Ducky script is in caps. So I suggest just turning caps lock on uh, and then running everything in caps. So we'll go ahead and type in delay. Delay obviously does what you think it does. It delays the script. Now you'll notice because I did enable the Ducky script language, uh, delay turns red. Symbols that it is a correct syntax and it's been identified. So uh, delay is a value in milliseconds. So we're gonna do 1000, which is just one second. So now we've successfully delayed our Ducky script a thousand milliseconds. So now I'll press enter. If you're used to coding at all, it's really basic. Uh, the Ducky script language is almost in plain English. I'll have a link in the description below uh, to the full syntax available, um, but I'll just go through what we're using today and I'll explain as we go. So the next uh, syntax we're gonna use is GUI, so G-U-I, which is uh, the same button as the Windows key essentially on a Windows computer, uh, but it also emulates like the Mac command key and whatever I forget which one it is considered in the Linux uh, side of things. So it basically presses that button on the keyboard. And then now if we never for, for GUI to work, you have to also have a separate key afterwards. So we're going to do um, R. So this is going to basically press Windows R key, which will bring up uh, this button, this menu right here, the run menu. So I'll press enter again. Now we're gonna have to type in delay again because we need to delay because if we don't have a delay, it will immediately start typing. And because our computer isn't as fast as a thousand per words per second, we're gonna have to write another delay. So uh, depending on how old your computer is, you might have to do more delay than say someone with a really fast computer. Uh, but I'm gonna do a delay of 200. That seems to work for me. So. All caps, we'll do delay 200. That'll delay at 200. Now we'll do another new syntax, which is gonna be string. Uh, string types in. So string simply just types what is following it. So now we're gonna type in notepad. So this will actually type in the word notepad in the run menu. And then we'll have 
we'll have enter, which simply presses the enter key on the keyboard. So now it's going to type in string, sorry, it's going to type in notepad, it's going to press enter. Now notepad's going to open, but again, we need to delay it because otherwise it'll take a while. It might, it might hurt typing before notepad's even open. So now we're going to do delay. We'll do delay 300 just to give it a second to open notepad. And now uh, notepad is open and notepad does autofocus right away to the text field. So we can now just start typing something. So we'll do string again and we'll do hello world. This right here is a very simple script and this script by itself is when you plug your ducky in is going to open notepad and say hello world. So we basically successfully created our first script. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and just save this to our location. So I'm going to save it as hello world.txt. I do highly suggest saving it next or in the same area as the duck and code.jar file. It's going to save us some time later. I'll show you why. So we'll go ahead and save that file. So now we'll have the hello world.txt file. And if we go ahead and open it up, you'll see over here. It looks the same in Notepad, but in Notepad++, we get that language, which is why I used it. Okay, so now what we have to do is actually use the duckandcode.jar file and encrypt this hello world file into an inject.bin file. So I'll leave that for now. So let's go ahead and do that. So the easiest way to do that, you can't do it online, like I said earlier, but uh, for the spirit of programming, we're going to do it ourselves. So the way to do that is you have to open command prompt and then run the jar file and then input the hello world text file. It doesn't sound, it's not as bad as it sounds. So the easiest way to open command prompt with the current path location is just to hold the shift key and right click. Holding shift and right click allows you to see open command window here. So click that and you should get a command prompt window with the path location of wherever you currently are auto loaded in. So now we can go ahead and type in um, our Java command to encrypt a hello world file. So what we'll do is we'll type in Java and make sure if Java isn't installed, this will air out. So make sure you have Java installed before you even try doing this. So Java dash jar, and then we're going to do the duck encode dot jar file. And then we're going to type in dash I, which stands for input, and then the hello world.txt file. You can use the tab key on your keyboard to auto complete in command prompt. Now, if you'd like to, you can also do dash O and choose the output file name. Um, but I do, I'm, I'm just going to leave that empty and then it will do by itself. You press enter. It will do the inject.bin by itself. So if it gives you nothing else, that means it is done and there's no errors, which is great news. So we'll head over and we'll see our inject.bin file has been created. So what we'll do now is we'll right click and copy it and we'll head over to our ducky uh, SD card and we'll just paste it in and we'll just override the original one as it is the same actually. Okay, and now what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and actually plug this guy in and see what happens. So we'll have to pull the SD card out of the USB reader, plug it back into the ducky itself, and then plug it in. So as you can see, when you plugged it in, it opened up Notepad really quickly and typed in a hello world. So even with all those delays, it was still insanely fast. And if you have a slow computer, those delays probably weren't fat, weren't long enough. So if you did plug it in and it didn't seem to work, um, go ahead and add couple extra zeros or an extra, not a couple extra, but add a zero to all those delay values, giving your ducky script kind of like a one second pause in between things. And then you should, it should work though. So if you copy me exactly, your script should do exactly what mine just did, which is to open notepad and type in hello world. So that is pretty much it for this video. I don't want to keep it too long. Um, so if you're interested in doing some more to the script, um, my suggestion to you is try navigating the, um, file menu. So go like file, edit, and format, go to the font area and change the font to hundred before writing hello world. So add, add some code in between before your, um, string area there and have it type in or 
increase the font size to 100 and then um, print out hello world if you go ahead and do try that uh, definitely compare yourself to my github page i have already uploaded the hello world a text file which is what we worked on today um, but this one here has the uh, script in it to also add the font to 100 before typing hello world so i uh, definitely uh, try it out for yourself try and leave the syntax i'll have the syntax listed uh, in the description below the github page for that uh, and then go ahead and try and increase your font size to 100 using the ducky script and then uh, go ahead and compare it to mine if you get stuck so anyways guys thanks for watching in this video I hope you guys do enjoy i'm looking a lot for your feedback on this series um am i going too fast am i going too slow uh, definitely leave your uh, feedback below and i'll try and critique it and better optimize this series to be uh, best for everybody so anyways guys thank you again for watching and i will see you in my future videos this is the hacker 007 and i'm signing off